Hello everybody, welcome back to the Food and Drink Chronicles. I'm Teddy, and today I'm going to try to attempt to make a seltzer drink exactly the same as this one. The question is, can I do it? And will it be better? Stay tuned and find out. All right, so High Moon, High Noon, High Moon? High Noon is one of my favorite seltzers to drink. They have really set the bar when it comes to these seltzer drinks. And this one I happen to have is a grapefruit drink. So I'm going to attempt to make that exact drink using only four ingredients. The four ingredients I have right here is a grapefruit, gotta have a grapefruit, blue agave, which I prefer blue agave over most simple syrups and other sugars. Reka vodka, which is the star. If you've not had Reka, I highly recommend it. This is a really great vodka. And to make the seltzer, I will be using Topo Chico. All right, let's get into it. The first thing I gotta do is I gotta cut into this grapefruit. Now make sure you wash your grapefruits before you actually handle the fruit itself. I'm just gonna simply cut in half, and voila, we have a beautiful grapefruit. Easy enough that I'm gonna take this juicer, and I'm going to juice only half of the grapefruit. This is a lot of grapefruit. Now you can choose to eat the other half, or you can make more juice with it if you're making drinks for a party, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do half of it for now, save the other half for later. And it will create a lot of pulp, so if you need to, you can strain it, do whatever you gotta do. And that is a good amount of juice. I don't need that much juice, but we'll make do. All right, next thing is you're gonna take your glass. Now, I recommend you use a pretty big glass. This one's actually bigger than you think. It can hold quite a bit. I'd say it's about maybe somewhere in the realm of like 16 ounces. Anyways, this is where you take your agave and you're going to layer the agave in the glass. And you're just gonna fill until you have just the very bottom filled out. And that's it. Which probably equates to about half an ounce of agave syrup. And that's all you need. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Reka vodka and I'm gonna do two ounces of vodka. All right, now that we got that, we need our grapefruit juice. Now for the grapefruit juice, we only need about I'd say two ounces, or you know what? Let's do an ounce. Because you gotta think, when you're making these seltzers, you're trying to make it kind of like it's infused or something. You don't want too much of the full flavor to it. And grapefruit juice is very potent. All right, now that that's done, what I gotta do is I gotta stir all this in. Now when you're stirring it, you're gonna wanna take your time, make sure you get all that agave syrup mixed into the drink as much as possible. The agave syrup doesn't take too much work to dilute it, but it does take some work. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna add some ice to this. So, now I'm gonna take my Topo Chico, and I'm just gonna Generously pour as much as I can into this glass. This glass, by the way, I got it from World Market. It's a really nice glass. I've been eyeballing these glasses for quite a while, and I'm happy to say that I, now that I have them now. They're pretty cool. Really good sized glass. Great for making margaritas, all kinds of other drinks. But yeah, most glasses will do. You can even use a Yeti. I sometimes use these Yetis right here. They're a pretty good size for making a mule or a seltzer drink. All right, let's give it a taste. Pretty refreshing. 
Definitely tastes like grapefruit. Now I'm curious, does it taste better than the High Noon? Let's give it a try. Golly, that is really good. High Noon is something else. But is it better than this? It's close. It's very, very close. Almost there. I think if I would have done two ounces of grapefruit juice, it might have been too much. But I think that one ounce is the, the sweet spot. So if you're crafting a cocktail like this, don't use too much fruit juice. And I really don't know. Let me try this one again. I would say the one I made is more re refreshing. And I think it's more refreshing because of the agave syrup that I used to make the drink, as opposed to using something like simple syrup. I don't know what they use in here. It does say two grams of sugar, which two grams, I don't think that's a whole lot of sugar. It does have high fructose corn syrup. So there's that, but there's no artificial flavors. So that tells me that they actually do use grapefruit juice. Now they have other ones, they have black cherry, they have pineapple. I figured that grapefruit would be the easiest one to make. Now there's another version that I do of this drink where I actually use lime juice. And I gotta tell you, it's really, really good. Now, I, I, I kinda get it. When you use lime juice and agave, and you use Topo Chico, it's almost like making a Moscow Mule, with the exception that you're using seltzer water, mineral water, yeah, mineral water, instead of using ginger beer. So anyways, that's it for this video. Really simple to make, guys. I highly recommend making these drinks at home. They're a lot of fun to make and they're really tasty. And they beat the high noon, surprisingly. That's gonna do it for this video. If you guys have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Now I check my analytics and I see there's about usually between 50% of the people that I know watch my videos and 50% of the people I don't know, you know, they're not subscribed. So you guys, you gotta click subscribe. You gotta check out this channel. We do more than just make drinks. So I'm a travel channel. I go out to theme parks. I go out to other locations and I film and it's a beast of a job, but I really like doing it. So subscribe and help this channel out guys. I will see you on the next video. Food and Drink Chronicles out.